eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff for the final launch of Endeavour. It is a really amazing machine. 122 million miles flown during 25 challenging space flights. Hubble telescope's first repair. We are docked with the International Space Station. A total of 296 days in orbit. This marks the final flight for Endeavour. Originally and built in Palmdale, the Endeavour is coming home to California. At ease, Endeavour. Good job. Now, the California Science Center wins the bid for the Endeavour. It has such presence and such gravitas. You think of having that in your classroom. The California Science Center will receive the Space Shuttle Endeavour. Los Angeles braces for the move across the city. The first challenge is getting it here. In a cavernous hall at the California Science Center, details revealed of a trip as historic as it will be wrought with peril. This will mark the first, last, and only time a space shuttle will travel through 12 miles of urban public streets. It's not only one of the biggest objects ever transported down city streets, it's an irreplaceable national treasure. We will have the eyes of the world on us. We can't miss anything. The pressure's mounting. The anxiety is starting to build. It's going to be an emotional day for everybody involved. This is a real honor. I mean, this is a gift. Can we make it happen? The shuttle is being flown in on its specially modified 747, and it's going to land at Los Angeles Airport, and then maneuver through the streets of Los Angeles to the Science Center, where it's going to live for the rest of its life. We actually have to transport it over 12 miles of urban public streets. This is the first and only time a shuttle is going to be moved through an urban street. It's never been done before. There's no playbook. We face some huge challenges. For one, the orbiter is really big. The wingspan is 78 feet, and it's over 120 feet long. It's a tremendous engineering feat to clear a pathway through the city. We're moving utility wires. We're moving street lights. The stoplights have to be controlled and timed so that they don't have complete gridlock. The whole outer surface of the shuttle, the thermal protection system, is quite fragile. That a fingernail can actually break one of the tiles. Physically, nothing touches it. We expect visitors from across the state and the country who will come to witness this once-in-a-lifetime event. When it first came in, I looked. And I said, oh my. We got something really important going on here. Endeavor will go from the airport through the streets of Los Angeles to the Science Center at about two miles per hour. Our job was to move it in a manner that keeps it safe and sound. No nicks, no scratches. We have one shot. We can get this right or we can get this wrong. The idea is to move it on a set of vehicles that allow it the maximum flexibility. This large transporter, it's actually going to transport the shuttle Endeavour through most of the route. Coming out of the hangar at LAX, here we go. This is real. We were about to perform on the world's grand stage. When you look down the streets of Los Angeles, the first thing that runs in your mind is like, this does not belong here. What are we going to do about this transmission line? What about these signal lights? Can we miss this light pole? At times, it was truly nerve-wracking. Endeavor stopped with its wings so close to a tree that you could have fit a credit card in there. I mean, the wings were over people's lawns, literally within an arm's reach of this amazing piece of history. Crowds got so close to Endeavor this morning at the LA Forum, they could read the numbers on its heat shield tiles. Project manager Ken Carrion is responsible for getting Endeavor through the streets of LA. It has been a remarkable journey for the Endeavor from outer space to inner city. This might not be its riskiest mission, but possibly its most complicated. Its 12-mile trek at 2 miles an hour goes over freeways, down boulevards, through neighborhoods. Almost 400 trees were cut down to make way. 
2,700 metal plates laid down to strengthen roadways. Power lines were lifted, stoplights removed. Mike Lofts is one of six operators using this joystick to maneuver the six computerized transporters carrying Endeavor. They can move in any direction. Mike's father, Gordon, is an operator too. This is not the biggest thing you've ever moved. Definitely not. Nobody has ever moved anything more significant. The crew used every trick in their book, shepherding it through a gauntlet of obstacles. The crew has a complicated self-propelled apparatus for moving large, heavy loads. But it's too heavy to cross the Manchester Bridge over the 405 freeway. We're going to have to use a lightweight, non-motorized dolly system, and we're towing it across the bridge with a stock Toyota tunnel. People cheered. It was this incredible community experience. The whole thing came together, worked out perfectly. A moment in history. After 25 missions to outer space and 4,671 orbits around planet Earth, Endeavour has completed its final voyage, mission number 26. nights, three days, over a million people on the streets. The entire city was completely in the moment. Just remembering how it brought everybody together, I wish I could just take this thing all the way across the country. It's just amazing when it finally works. You know, you just go, wow, you know, we actually did that. With Endeavor now going on display at the Science Center, who knows who will be inspired. It could be some 12-year-old kid who 20 years from now will say, I was there then and now I'm going up into space. Letting kids dream about their future and about the future of the world, that's what the Science Center and museums really do well. A year and a half ago, that thing was docked to the International Space Station. I feel like it's home. <laughs>